We are going to get started in just one minute, so everybody get cozy. Are we good? Are we broadcasting properly on air? Airmo? How is everything's good? Otherwise, now we're good to go. All right. All right. Good morning, everyone. It is uh, Monday, January 30th. I, we're going to get started. Um, let's just uh, jump right into it. Um, quick check. Everyone can hear okay. Thumbs up from. Toronto and San Fran. Sweet, awesome. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's get. We're gonna go straight into Friends of the Tree. Uh, Felipe nominates Sergio Campos for actively working on bugs seven zero four one two five, finding the right authors, and keeping in touch with the add-on authors through the whole process of getting their crash resolved. Let's get a round of applause. And Ruben Mores, I believe, uh, Klauber Stikovic. And Marcelo Araldi, and possibly more people that are being forgotten, for getting the community organized to reach people in Brazil who are experiencing the crash and explain the problem and work around. Let's give a round of applause for those people. Awesome. Um, all right, let's go straight into uh, major or the uh, big updates. We have a big day tomorrow. Hello, everyone. It's a big day tomorrow. Potch took all my thunder. So it's release week. And that means that this week, Firefox 10 is going out the door, and this will be a little bit more exciting than most, because Firefox 10 is also when the first extended support release will go out the door, lovingly titled ESR. Uh, it also means for the engineers in the room who have long since forgotten about Firefox 10, that tomorrow is migration day, whereupon everybody gets a shiny new version number. Um, the last thing I'll mention on desktop is that Firefox 11, when we project six weeks forward and imagine what a future train might look like, uh, runs right smack dab into the middle of a patch Tuesday. And if you're an admin, you know why that is daunting. And if you're not, I will mention that Microsoft releases a lot of patches on the second Tuesday of the month. And sometimes those cause surprising side effects. Uh, as it turns out, if you play our schedule forward for the rest of the year, 2012 is just a barrel of monkeys. Not only do we run into this patch Tuesday, we also run into US Thanksgiving, and have a release scheduled for New Year's Day. So, <laughs> this is your first of what will no doubt be several notices that Alex and I, in conjunction with release engineering and product and several other groups, may come forward with an alternate proposal that has us, for instance, holding a release for a week to get out of sync with all of these very exciting but potentially breaking things. Um, while I'm dominating the microphone, I'll talk about mobile to say that we're checkpointing daily on beta status. And if you're curious about whether beta will ride the train tomorrow with the rest of the desktop releases, there's a blog post in there. It uses the phrase, don't worry, it's cool. Um, the real takeaway there is not whether or not we ship tomorrow. The real takeaway is that the whole team is focused on fundamentals. We're not adding new features to the native UI on Android anymore. 
we're really just focused on stability, performance, compatibility, making an incredible product that we can send out to the world. That's the update for things called Firefox. Awesome. Uh, do we have any updates from Thunderbird? <laughs> okay. Um, we will jump straight down into speakers unless anyone else wants to give a verbal update. Cool. Uh, I know we have Alex wanting to speak for a moment about Acta uh, and some of the stuff that he's been looking at. Yeah, hey, Alex Fowler uh, with the Privacy and Policy team. Good morning. Um, just as we thought it was safe to go back online um, after having defeated uh, SOPA and PIPA here in uh, the United States, we're seeing uh, that there is a new uh, threat here to free speech innovation, uh, and uh, it's called ACTA. Uh, actually, it's been around now for two years or so, and um, it's, uh, the, the U.S. has already signed it. Uh, the European countries, all 27 members of them, uh, signed it last uh, week. Uh, and so basically the focus here is on uh, raising the awareness of the concerns. It's just like SOPA and PIPA, it was written in secret. Um, we don't know all of the requirements, but uh, it's very similar to uh, PIPA and SOPA. Uh, and it's pushing a lot of the liability to Mozilla and other parties of the internet to police uh, the way our users uh, are interacting and communicating and so forth. So uh, the focus is to uh, get to the European Parliament. Uh, so this is a chance for us to go much more global than we did with SOPA and PIPA. And uh, we also have an issue here uh, eventually in our own Congress um, to try to encourage them not to ratify uh, the agreement. So there'll be a lot more about this. Um, there's, this is another opportunity for all of us in the Mozilla community to participate, and that was a big success for how we mobilized our community on SOPA and PIPA, so we'll be looking to do the same thing uh, very soon on ACTA. So uh, more soon, and uh, thanks. <laughs> All right, thanks, Alex. Um, do we, I didn't see any other speakers on the schedule. I'm gonna refresh and see if that is true. Uh, it was just Alex, cool. Um, we are moving right along then. Um, any speakers, last call? No, okay. Um, we're actually gonna jump straight into new hires, but first I'm gonna take a look to see if there's any events on the schedule, which there are now. Uh, Thursday is, is answer new user questions on Sumo Day um, for Firefox 10, which will be fantastic. Uh, we'll ho hopefully people can go on there and uh, bring some of their expertise to the support site and uh, Solve some problems. And then Friday is uh, Firefox 11 test day, beta one. So uh, if you want to help out with testing Firefox, you should do that. All right, um, we're going to jump straight into introducing new hires and new interns. Um, it's a decent list once again. So um, if you have a new hire or a new intern, um, come on up. Don't be shy. I, I know there are plenty, so. Is the, uh, the X the X may be under the chair? Okay. We'll just slide the chair. Stand on the chair. Yeah, that's perfect. I guess. Hi, I'm Dan Vaditz in the security team, and we've uh, Paul Thoreau is actually joining us this week. I introduced him a couple weeks ago, but that turned out to be premature. Um, so he's here. He'll be here for three weeks, uh, learning the ropes, and then he'll be working remotely from Sydney. And uh, I'd also like to announce that uh, Al Billings, who used to work in the QA team, has also joined the security team as uh, project management. All right. Hi, I'm uh, Chris Beard, and I head up marketing and uh, the engagement program. And I have two introductions. So first, I'd like to introduce um, Pete Scanlon, who joins us today. Um, Pete um, is going to head up our brand um, communications and engagement program. Pete joined us from Google. Um, and so in the last year, he was responsible for Chrome um, positioning and launch. Um, he did some, he headed up some um, videos you might have seen on TV, including Dear Sophie, Justin Bieber, and It Gets Better. <laughs> And so he's going to work with us in terms of our um, brand communication program and how do we get out in front of um, new audiences. So welcome to Pete. Uh, 
Um, so my second introduction is Leslie Nakajima. She's based in San Francisco. So I don't know if we've got video working here or not. Um, anyways, Leslie joins us. She's going to um, head up our global communications program. So there's no one in San Francisco yet. Um, anyway, so, so Leslie's joined us. She actually joined uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, it's the first time we've got um, an introduction for her properly. Uh, she comes to us from Nokia, um, where she was head of global partner marketing. And previous to that, she's director of corp comms at uh, OpenWave, BT, and uh, phone.com. So welcome to Leslie, too. Thanks. So hi, I'm Tim Fairfield. I'm with the Global Desktop team. And I've got a few overdue members uh, to introduce to my team that became full time. First, I'd like to start with Vin Hua. He's been here just the week uh, since the week before the all hands back in September, converted to full time on January 3rd. Very happy to have him on board. I think a lot of you already know him. He sits here on the third floor near the bridge. <laughs> Next, I have Peter O'Neill. Uh, same situation he started, same day as Vin. They both uh, came on and really helped out with the all hands week there when my team was pretty thin. Uh, Peter's been handling the San Francisco office for the last couple of months. He's now based uh, back here in Mountain View. And glad to have him back here. And I have a few Europe interns that have started today. Let's start with Darwin. <coughs> Darwin, you're going to have to help me out still with your last name. Uh, Darwin, Darwin DeRozan. Okay, Darwin comes from Europe, a uh, <laughs> program in San Francisco and has just joined today as a Europe intern working in desktop here in Mountain View. <laughs> Next, we have Ashley. Come on up. Ashley Chavez, also from Europe uh, program. She's here in Mountain View also working on the desktop team. <laughs> so last but not least, Sal Espinoza. Sal is here in Mountain View working with the NetOps team uh, with Derek Moore. He'll be helping with the SCL3 move. Glad to have you. Hi, I'm Brett, and I run the recruiting team, and I got an awesome haircut this weekend. I think I look about 10 years younger. Most people say five. Um, anyway, I want to introduce Kim and Michelle who have been working with me for, well, working with all of us for about six months. Uh, Kim's going to help out with improving Jobvite, making sure interviews happen, make sure she pesters people to get their feedback in, and just generally make recruiting process run smoother. And Michelle's been helping out with the engagement recruiting for the last six months, hiring such folks as Leslie, who was mentioned earlier, and in general, just building up what we need more of, and that's getting the word out about how awesome Mozilla is. So here they are. Or, or. Yeah, there's a theme here. And the other theme is faces that you've seen around a lot. Um, I'm Xander. I run special operations, including uh, release the, the RelEng facing operations team where we've added Jake Watkins as a full-timer now. He's uh, been with us for a while, and uh, we convinced him to stay. Is that everyone with a new hire or a new intern? Are there any remote introductions you want to do really quick? No? OK, cool. Uh, we have one last quick announcement. Hi, this is uh, Gary Kwong, and I'd like to announce that uh, we're going to have uh, fuzzing at Mozilla Brown Bag happening right here at 1 p.m. So if you have no idea what fuzzing is, if you want to find out what fuzzing is about, if you want to contribute to fuzzing, please do stay on for the Brown Bag. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, all right. Any last questions from IRC? Any last things from in the room? Well, then we are all finished. Um, everyone have a fantastic week. Thanks. <laughs>